Welcome to Louisiana Sisterhood Book Club. Yes, we're back. It's 2018. And guess what? You know, as always, we always have someone special in the studio with you. And guess who we have on our show today? Now, you know who I am. I'm your hostess, Betty Allen. And of course, we know we have the owner and producer of this show, none other than Catherine Taylor Bowery. Good She's morning. in the studio. And guess what? Our special guest is Miss. Christine Coco Quarles. Hello, hello everybody. Yeah, welcome. And guess what? She brought something special. Her new book. Yes, yes, yes. And pretty crossed and tempered. You know one thing? Ladies say no. Mm -mm. Isn't it about him or them? It's about protecting us, y'all. Yes. She gonna tell us today about it now. All right now. All your ears on? Okay, let's get started. Now, Miss Coco, tell us about this new book you got, girl. Good morning, Miss Carl. Good morning. How are you, lady? Ooh, we so excited that you on our show. And welcome, welcome, welcome. I'm excited. This book is actually just um my my beliefs um, on saying no isn't about them and their feelings. It's about protecting us and our, our heart and our, our mind. Mm -hmm. um, a lot of times, you know, the hard topics to talk about are the ones that destroys us the most. So let's talk about sex. Wow. We're going to get right into that. That's yeah. sizzling. That's hot. All right now. Now, this book, you said that it's about the sex, it's about the temptation, mm -hmm. and it's about keeping our hearts and minds pure. Yes. Tell us a little bit more about that. Yes, ma'am. When you think about women, we think about pretty. You yes. know, women are pretty. Um, and the cross is the part about crossing our legs um, just to protect us and tempt it because it gives you feedback on how to prepare for situations that are going to come at you. Um, and how to prepare when it's, it comes to communicating the whole celibacy and abstinence. Um, it just gives you more substance to be able to stand on your decision. One of my readers said that the book gives women a voice, it gives us uh, an opinion, and it gives us a decision. So with our voices being back in the air where we can be heard and, and we can stand for something positive, we need to now understand that it's a decision. I could say yes or I could say no. And if I say no, it's not even about you. Don't get offended. Don't bash me. This right. is all about me. Right. Don't get angry. Don't get angry. It's my choice. Yes. Okay. Yes. So you see, ladies, you have a choice in the matter. Yes, you do. Just because they say, oh, it's right now, you don't have to say yes. Mm -hmm. You have to look into your heart and say, who am I? Yes. Right. You know, who am I representing? I got to remember, I'm one of God's properties. Right. Yes. And she brings it out so beautifully in this book. <laughs> because abstinence, who do I really truly belong to? Who is my first love? Is it Jesus or is it the man that's sitting next to me? Right. You know what I mean? Right. Now, Ms. Quarles, tell us, when did God give you this book? In 2015, um, and you know it's a God thing when it just flows. Mm -hmm. He gave me the idea, and of course I rejected it because who wants to stand up and say, don't have sex? Like you will be criticized Especially just Especially in this day and time. Yes, ma'am. Yeah, with yes, such a sex culture. Right. right. It's, that's just the thing to do. You meet somebody, you uh, go out to eat with your friends, you meet a guy, mm -hmm. and you go home with a guy. Mm -hmm. You have sex. Like, it's, it's too no easy big now. Deal. It's no big deal, but we're walking away with more damage than we realize. Exactly. And five years later, when we can't make progress in towards being happy mm. and, and start and being able to make decisions for ourselves, for our well being, it roots back to this because we have all these soul ties that we wasn't even paying attention to because the world didn't teach us to protect us. Right. So families are so busy now, yes. and I really make an emphasis on that for the young ladies. Mm. So it's so important. That's just wonderful. That's wonderful. You got that message out here. And you know, God was telling it's a soul tie. Mm -hmm. With God and us, it's a covenant because there's a such thing as a hymen. When that hymen is broken, that's a blood covenant that is being broken. And there you are breaking a blood covenant with your man when you're supposed to be having that blood covenant with God himself up above. Mm -hmm. And that is so very important because you don't realize it, but 
when you're having that relationship with God and you're also having that relationship with the man on the side, you can't have both of those now. Mm -hmm. You cannot. You only can love one truly, one true man. And that's Jesus Christ himself. And she was saying that so beautifully. It's like you got to make a decision out there. Right. Mm -hmm. You got to make up your mind and say, when you say no, you mean no. Right. You mean no. And it might be hard. Mm -hmm. And I want to say you have to have some strength to yes. make it on this journey. You yes. can't do this by yourself. Mm -hmm. So you have to have some word in you. Mm -hmm. Yes, that is right. what it is, that word. Exactly. Proverbs 4 and 23 is, is saying, you know, above all else, guard your heart because everything we do flows from our heart. Exactly. So everything we do as a mother, as a nurse, yes. as the secretary, as a stay-at-home mom, mm -hmm. everything we do flows from our heart. So we can't be the women of strength and of power because we're broken. Yes. Right. So let, let's talk about it because if I see me for who I am, I can see all the broken pieces of that glass, exactly. that shattered glass. Exactly. I can start putting those pieces back together with God's glue. Right. Exactly. So now I've been broken, right. but I'm putting me back together. So now those things that used to hold me down, oh my goodness, him That's not so calling true. me back, not right. answering the phone, right. oh, I just saw him with another girl. That doesn't even bother me because right. I'm making progress in being a better me. Right. Yeah. And you feel so good. You sure do. You feel so yes, good, you know, having done it Christ's way. Yes, ma'am. You, you just feel good. That's the strength that you get from God's word. Mm -hmm. God can make you hold on and right. be a strong woman. Right. Now, Ms. Qualls, tell us a little bit about your, since you brought that personal part out about your, um, career, being a nurse, being a teacher, being the type of person that you are. Tell us a little bit about your personal life. I work for the Department of Human Services. Okay. Um, so not on the children's side, I work on the, the adult side. I issue uh, food stamps, okay. SNAP benefits now. Mm -hmm. So it's different because I see more of the at home insight. Mm -hmm. And I'm seeing a lot of women, you know, with multiple children right. and they're by themselves. Mm -hmm. right. There's no man figure. Right. Um, so. I don't have anything against this because, look, I am not pure. I am not a virgin. I am not perfect, and I don't... Let me correct that. I was going to say I don't aim to be. I do aim to be perfect because I know the steps that I need to take to be the best me. So although I'm going to make uh, mistakes, I can get with God, and I can be 100% in everything that That's I do. That's so true. Yes, so I'm looking at these homes, and the mom will be working two jobs, and then it's a man at home that he's not working. Mm -hmm. So, Mom, you're being mom, dad, the provider, mm -hmm. the disciplinary, you know, the nurturer, you're being everything, and that's not how it's supposed to be. Right. The roles for her, I I've seen it happen, yes. where the woman takes on the role as the man, yes. and it ends up breaking her. Mm -hmm. It does. It is breaking us. Now, we can be superwoman, but we have to be being fed correctly. Exactly. With God pouring in us positive influences in our lives, right. our friends, right. who are you surrounded and, by? And having that atmosphere and that yes. environment, you yes. know. Yes, yes. That's so true. So I'm just being This young lady just has so much wisdom <laughs> for her age. You know, I know, I'm just so impressed with these young women nowadays. Yeah. I'm telling you, so she's telling you, if you get with God, and make him your priority, make him your husband, make him your boyfriend, make him the man that's right. in your life. Then your life will fall in line. Right. It will be corrected. Yes. Mm -hmm. You know, like she said, we all have fallen down and come short. God tells us that. He says there is nobody perfect but God right. himself. Mm -hmm. So we're not looking for the perfect, but we are looking for those individuals that are striving after Strong. God, exactly. striving to do what yes. God tells that's us to right. do. And then our life will fall in line. Right. We will be there and we're getting there and you know Miss Quarles is going to help us with this book. Yes, so, young ladies. It. It's a good it. read, young ladies. Yes, it now, is. Now, Miss Quarles, tell us where we can find your book. The book is available on Amazon, Pretty Cost and Tempted. Um, C. Quarles, Q U A R L E S is in Sam. That's my Facebook uh, business page. So go ahead and go like it. Like and follow me on that page because you'll find out about giveaways, the next book, um, and more information on this book. And I do a lot of giveaways sometimes just because I want to bless somebody with the book. Um, so you might not have that $15 to spend right now, but I can bless you. And um, Amazon, my business page, and my website, www.cquarrels.org. Everything I do will be under PLF, which is Pretty Little Fragments. 
So with like women, that. we have pretty little mm -hmm. fragments all yes. in us. Yes, and I want to take those broken pieces, and let's talk about it, put it back together so that we can be the best us. Yes, yes. yes. And you know one thing? With PLF, pretty little fragments putting us together, God puts us together yes. as well. And you know one thing? That puts us to this commercial. You know I got to go to commercial now. You know we got to pay the bills. But while we're doing that, check out Amazon and check out her book. We'll be right back with you in a little bit. At Burger King, it's time to pick two sandwiches for six bucks. Choose from the spicy crispy chicken, crispy chicken, or the flame grilled Whopper, and get any two for just six bucks. It doesn't matter how you match or mix it, as long as you two for six it. Only at Burger King. Hi, welcome back to the Louisiana Sisterhood Book Club. And as you know, we always have something special for you. And guess what? Today, we have another special guest for you. Uh-huh, yes. It's Bishop Gregory White. Yes, and he has a book he want to tell you about. Oh, girl. Good morning, yes, Bishop. Good, uh, good morning. Yes. How you doing? I'm okay. That's good. Glad to have you on the show today. Thank you so much for having me. And guess what? You can have what you say if you stop saying what you have. That's what he's going to talk to you about today. And guess what? Miss Catherine Taylor Byer, you know her, the founding author of this show, All right, is in the studio this morning. And guess what? She going to talk to the bishop. Yeah, she been chumping at the bit to talk to this bishop. <laughs> uh-huh. She want to let you know about all about his book. Okay. So... Ms. Bob, come on over here and talk to this bishop. Come on, talk well, to bishop, me. Bishop, you know, you've been telling me about this book and everything, and I'm just so happy to actually see it and feel it and hold it today. But what do you want to tell the audience about your book? Let's start. Let's see where these chapters go going, Bishop. Well, first of all, I want to thank you all for having me uh, on your show. Um, I think it's very exciting about what you all are doing. Thank um, you. And I'm praying that the Lord will continue to spread it out through the United States. And, yes, sir. Uh, that it be very successful, not just for successful, but very successful. But uh, giving birth to uh, this book, You Can Have What You Say If You Stop Saying What You Have, was really birthed on my mother's birthday. And she's gone on to be with the Lord, praise wow. God. Yes. Uh, but it was birthed on her birthday. And I kept saying to myself that every time I hear someone speak negative, uh, look like it brings negative things in their life. Right. You have to be so, careful about what you speak. Bingo. Right. Okay. So uh, God took me to Mark 11 and 23, chapter 11 and verse 23, where it says, If you would say to this mountain, mm -hmm. Be thy removed yes. and be thy cast into the sea, yes. and shall not doubt in your heart. But it's really talking about your mind. Right. You shall have whatsoever you say it. And that's where this book came from. This book came from hearing people speak negative, even myself. Right. Okay. And God said, you got to change your words if you want to change your world. Right. So my world has changed now because I changed the words that I was speaking. So you're standing on God's word and you're seeing things manifest here. Oh, no doubt about it. Wow. No doubt about wow. it. Wow. Yeah, the manifestation of God's word is you can have what you say if you stop saying what you have. Right. Because so yeah. many people, they, oh, I have faith. But then in the next breath, they'll say, well, I don't know. It may happen. It may not happen. I'm not sure, you mm -hmm. know. Mm -hmm. Well, I've learned that uh, if, you be, if you're not careful about what you say, it's a boomerang effect. Right. Everything you say 
is it's positive, it's going to come back and bless you. If it's negative, it's going to come back and bite you. Right. So we have to be very, very careful, careful about what we're saying, and especially during this season. Right. Because this season is the day uh, 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 God is opening up so many avenues, oh, so many yes, doors for yes. us to, to run in, not right. walk in, run in them. And if we're not careful, those doors will be closed when we get there because of the negative connotations that we're speaking with our own mouth. Right. That tongue. That tongue is so powerful. Yes, indeed. Exactly. Yes. Right. It's blessings and it can be cursing. Yes. Oh, yeah. Yes, God says is. there's life and death in the power of your tongue. All right, now. So with Bishop's book, he says that if you would stop saying what you have, then you can have what you say. All right. Now, he says this book was birthed on his mother's birthday. So he's giving back. He's keeping her legacy alive with this book. You know, Bishop... He's always talking, always. But when you get around him, he always has something positive to say. He keeps you laughing. All right, now. Yes, and so everything he's speaking, he said it's been coming into his life. And so he said he's speaking more positive things now mm -hmm. and more positive reactions he's getting. So, Bishop, tell us where we can find your book. Well, uh, you can go to uh, Amazon, creativespace.com. Uh, I don't have it in our local bookstores. Um, for a reason. I don't want to say it on air, but it's for a reason. I don't have them in the local bookstores. Or you can call me at 318-564-9041. And uh, also, if you would like for me to come in and at your church and speak on this positive aspect of this book because right. what I'm learning about this book is is so many books inside of this book. Uh, God has already shared with me to take chapter one and make a book and so forth with the seven chapters. So it's seven books out of this one book. Oh, that's amazing. You know, that is amazing, that you know, is. because I just got that revelation about, I shared it with Betty about three weeks ago, Betty, uh, that that God had told me to open up this book and put seven books out there. Right. So as we learn how to speak big, as we learn how to think big, as we learn how to act big, as we learn how to dream big, as we learn how to see big, you can become big because big is not big and small does not sit in the eyesights of God. Because when God does a thing, he does it be. Yes, he does. does. Yes, yeah. indeed. He um, does it be. Magnificent. That's yes. so true. And God will exalt you to that place where he wants you to be. Yes, indeed. But here, speaking about the tongue, I, I, this is how the Holy Spirit works. I'm sorry. But it's in your forward, Bishop, where it says, The word teaches us that death and life are in the power of the tongue. Mm -hmm. And they that love it shall eat the fruit thereof. Proverbs 18, 21. I mean, that pretty much says it all right there. Really? Really? I mean, we don't have to beat our heads on the wall or anything about what God is trying to say. Uh -huh. It's simple. Mm -hmm. It is. It is. What When you read uh, Proverbs 18, 20 and 21, but I like verse 20. It says, in the belly of a man, a man shall eat. In the way, I, I, my God. In the belly, in, the, in a man's belly, he shall eat the words of his mouth. Okay, so in other words, it's not what you put into the belly, but it's what comes out, out of, the, of belly. the belly. You know, Jesus even said, you know, they had washed the cup. The cup looked clean on the inside, mm -hmm. but on the inside, they were dead men bones. Oh, so okay. you have to be careful in what you're saying. And in the chapter, chapter four, at CB, mm -hmm. that's one of my favorite chapters because when I look at things now, I don't look at how small they are. Let's take now I'm Alive Ministries. Right. You mind? Right. Uh, it's a, we started off as a small beginning we in a storefront church and now the Lord is getting ready to move us to a church that can hold the capacity of about two, 250 people. Oh my goodness. And so God, I see things now the way God is showing it to me yeah. and not just looking it through my vision myself. Right. Because God has given me a bigger vision. Right. So you, know? you can see for yourself how the word comes alive. You yes, can indeed. see that for yourself. Yes, indeed. Now, I'm sitting here holding the workbook that accompanies Bishop White's book. So you can get the book and the workbook. Mm -hmm. And like he said, give him that information again, Bishop, your phone number where they can contact you. And also, his book is at Shree Memorial Library downtown. That is so true. It is. Yeah. So if you say, well, right now I do not have that 
$20 in my pocket and I can't get to Amazon right now, but you can get to Street Memorial Library downtown and check out his book. And you can call him for the workbook. You know one thing, you need to get that information. So I'm gonna allow him to tell it to you one more time. Okay, so, well, uh, my number is 318-564-9041 or you can email me at GLW Entrepreneur, E-N-T-R-E-P-R-E-N-E-U-R -E 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 at AOL.com. And I'll be glad to come to your church and speak about this book at a Bible study, a work study, uh, because what I've learned about this, this work study book is as I read chapter one, I come back and I work chapter one, oh. and it gives me more insight about the book. That way it brings memory. You know, I don't have to puzzle myself to try to remember because God would bring it back to my remember because I read chapter one. Now I'm working chapter right. one. And uh, I was also, uh, I was in Seattle, Washington last year in July. And uh, they had me to come in and do a workshop on this book. And after doing the workshop on the book, I was able to explain how the book actually worked. And I've been getting so much feedback. As a matter of fact, the pastor at Shiloh Baptist Church in Seattle, Watch in Tacoma, Washington, called me about two weeks ago and told me, hey man, I need some more books. And I took 200 books up there. Wow. So the this book is really just starting. It's been out ever since 2011 or 12, but it's really just starting to catch on fire because now people are understanding because you're hearing all these different pastors talk about, watch what you say. Be careful with your mouth. Don't let the words of your mouth over, you know that's what my mama used to say. Don't let your words yeah. overload what? <laughs> yeah. Uh -huh. yeah. Mm -hmm. So uh, I'm learning a lot about this book after it's been out five years and God has really, really started and open up doors for me. So if you don't have this book on your shelf, you I'm, I'm calling Shreveport Finest Police to come and arrest you because you need to go to jail because you don't have, you can have what you say if you stop saying what you have on your book or in your library. Most definitely. We want to grow. The book can help you to grow spiritually. Yeah, yeah. Yes, it can. Now, this book is about a little bit about prophecy. Now remember the dry bones in Ezekiel. God told him to speak to those bones. Can mm -hmm. those bones live? And he said, only you know God. God is telling you, I have told you that life and death is in the power of your tongue. Mm -hmm. You exactly. speak life over yourself. Exactly. You live again. You quicken your spirit. Right. How you do that? He said with the word of God. All right. So when you read the word of God yeah. and you put the word of God yeah. in your mouth, it quickens you. It makes you become alive. Whatever you say is what you're going to have. Now, if you want to be rich, you need to say, I'm rich. That's God right. said, let the poor man say, he's rich. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? So you need to say what God said. And that's what he's telling you. You have what you say if you stop saying what you have. Right. Now, if you stop using your words and start using God's words, Speak. you're going to yes, receive power. Yes. And that's yes. what this is about. So you yes. work the book and the workbook. Mm -hmm. Okay, now you call him. Now, you can also come to his church. His church is? Give him uh, the name. address is 41. 126 Greenwood Road, Shreveport, Louisiana, 71109. And the church number is 318-606-4730. That's again, 606-4730. My cell number is 318-564-9041. And we are definitely looking forward to seeing you and hearing from you uh, uh, to purchase this book. And if you don't have the finances to purchase the book, give me a call and if you pay for the shipping cost, I will send you one absolutely free. See, you definitely need this message. It's just an awesome message of encouragement, an awesome message of just that how you can take that next step spiritually. Bishop is here to help you because a lot of times we don't know, we don't have the information to help us and it's so close that next step to being successful in our lives. Yeah. Life and death is in the power of your tongue. So right now, you start speaking life. Say, I'm going to get that book. I'm going to call that bishop. I'm going to go buy his church. I'm going to pick it up. I'm going to Shree Memorial Library. And I'm going to go on Amazon mm -hmm. to get his book. That's exactly what I'm going to do. And guess what? Oh, I know it. I got to go to commercial, so you can do all those things. You can okay. speak life. You can call Amazon. And guess what? You can order this book. All right. I'll see you in a few minutes. Be right back. All right. Hey, 
everybody, it's your girl Alanetta. Listen to the Alanetta Beck Gospel Experience every Sunday morning at 8 a.m. on khamradio.com. You can hear your favorite gospel music every Sunday morning at 8 a.m. Central Standard Time on the Alanetta Beck Gospel Experience only on khamradio.com. Call 318-221-5422 for info. Over one million people have come to LNC for expert mortgage advice, making the whole process a piece of cake. For fee-free mortgage advice, get in touch and let's LNC how we can help you too. Well, well this is great. I, I just love your message. And I, what is the age group that you would suggest read this book? I suggested 12, but after readers got a hold to it, they called back and it was like, no, 10. Oh, yeah, that's probably so in this day and time. Yes, yes, ma'am. A great so. message of celibacy, mm -hmm. a great message of how you can prevent yourself from yes. becoming broken. You know, sometimes we needlessly suffer because we don't have the information to empower ourselves. Mm -hmm. So a great message of empowerment. And then if, if you're battling with, I don't know if I believe in God, buy the book anyways. It's not just a, hey, here's a book, read about it, you're supposed to believe in God. Let me show you why I believe in God. And I bet what I say will give you strength and understanding for your own life. Well See? said, well said. Now, you know, this is God's temple, which is your body. Yes, it mm. is. Whether you believe in God or not, think about yourself. Yes. Think about your temple. How do you want your body to feel? Do you want your body to be cheapened? Of course not. You want your body to have a very best. So you give your body the very best. That means you keep your temple clean. Right. You have a clean man. Exactly. You have a clean yes. self. Right. This yes. is all about you right. and your you. personal relationship with God, whatever your God may be. Yes. Right. But you keep yourself straight. Yes. You keep yourself clean. You keep yourself pure right. and you you be confident in being straight and pure see there's right. that confidence mm -hmm. and you don't right. want to have regrets later either no, that's no. right if you can help it so get miss qualls book yeah, pretty christine and coco qualls give her a call okay. you have her website and you know where you can find her in arkansas hey you better get this book it's a good book all right, this has been an amazing morning. Yes, so nice to meet you, Ms. Quarles. Nice so you. nice to have you Thank on the show. You. Thank you. Um, we also want to touch again on Bishop's book, a wonderful book he has. Okay. Um, we, As he told you, you can contact him if you need a copy. A good message, uh, a good message for people who are on the grow. You can't seem to jumpstart yourself to where you need to be. A good book to read. Thank you for having me, Bishop. God bless you. Don't forget about that workbook now. You know you got to work one and one. All right now, you know life and death is in the power of your tongue. Speak to those dry bones. Make them come alive in your life. Prophesy to yourself. And that's exactly what his book is telling. You can have what you say if you stop saying what you have. And as always, you know we always have something special for you here on Louisiana Sister Book Club. And guess what? There's a never dull read here. We always have it. Exciting guests for you, exactly. like Miss Qualls, like Bishop Gregory White. Guess what? Keep tuning in, and we'll keep bringing you special people. And bye bye. Bye bye. bye.